YouTube. How you all doing? I hope you're doing well. What a long week. It was a long week for me. I don't know if it was a long week for you all, but I'm glad that it's Friday night. And, uh, you know, I've been uh, taking it easy and uh, excited to try this new lager that I got from John, who used to be Hillbilly Select, but he is now called Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. Check him out if you haven't, all right, already. His name, uh, the, the Beer Review channel uh, is uh, Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. He does a variety of different awesome things. And again, I've done a few of his beers that he sent me. I've sent him beers. He's done all of them, I think. And I have, I think, two more to go. This one right here is called Couch Coach. Um, and it's from Fall City Brewing Company. Located in, uh, I believe, uh, Kentucky. That's right. That's where John is from. Um, hey, if you haven't subscribed to MGUNZ Beer Review, smash that subscribe button. That's me, MGUNZ Beer Review. Um, yeah, I do a variety of beers as well. Uh, enjoy doing them. And uh, just trying to build the channel a little bit. Leave me a comment. Give me thumbs up. And, uh, you know, we'll see where we go with uh, MGUNZ Beer Review. Um, but like I said, hey, a good beer, uh, uh, from what I'm told, uh, Couch uh, couch Coach. Um, they say there's some ca uh, caramel notes in there, some hoppy notes. I don't know. I did just a little bit of reading on it, so I'm excited to crack it open. But first, before I do that, let's talk a little bit about Falls City Brewing Company in Kentucky. It opened up their doors in 1905. That's right, 1905. Um Beer throughout Kentucky is, is, is uh, that beer flew through Kentucky and it also did a little bit of Indiana and parts of Tennessee back in 1905. Um, you know, uh, they started making profits and uh, getting some good money coming through that brewery in 1912. But then all of a sudden, what happened after that? That's right, prohibition kicked in. Um, a lot of these brewing companies just folded. They couldn't survive because you couldn't, you know, couldn't make alcohol, couldn't sell alcohol. But you know what uh, Falls City Brewing Company did? They decided to start selling soda. They also started selling near beer, and their big seller was big chunks of ice that they would provide to everybody. So they continued to push through the Prohibition time. Um, and in 1933, Prohibition was over. And guess what? They started selling beer again and pushing it out the doors um, and making some big, big bank. In 1940 to 1950, um, they started taking that beer not only to Kentucky and um, to Indiana and parts of Tennessee, they grew into four other states. So they had seven states that they were distri uh, distri uh, distributing uh, that beer to all, all those different uh, states and they were well known. Okay, they dominated the, the southern uh, side of the United States. But then, believe it or not, in 1978, they closed their doors. And they had to close their doors because their competition was fierce. They had uh, uh, Bush, uh, Coors, Miller, all that stuff just started coming in and they just couldn't keep pace with the big brothers and sisters out there. But guess what? In 2010, they opened up their doors again, and they started to do that microbrewery. They started doing the IPAs. Uh, they, they came back and started doing their pilsners and their lagers and their stouts, and they started making more money. And before you know it, the, the microbrewery just took off, and they took off with it. So today, they're doing some good things, Fall City Brewing Company in Kentucky. And I'm, again, excited to take a look at this beer, crack it, open it, smell it, taste it, of course. Let's take a look at the can a little bit. It is a 5.5 ABV. Um, Fall City Beer, Couch Coach. Lager, um, Falls City Brewing Company in, in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Awesome. And what I like about this can, it's all football, baby. And I'm a big football fan. Um, it's got the, the, uh, the, the field on it, the 30, 40, 50 yard line. And they have these little pennants on the back that talk about, uh, you know, 1996 football district runner up. Um, all different little flags that represent the beers that they put out and stuff like that. So it's a pretty darn cool can. I like it. And uh, hey, let's crack it open. Let's see what we got inside. Let's 
see what this logger has. Let's go down the middle, get a little action. Ooh. -woo. Nice little head on there. Um, amber in color, apricot kind of in color, almost like a Killian's red in color. Um, foggy, carbonation kicking in, one finger head. Bubbles are spaced out. It may stick around and leave a little bit of a, um, uh, a lacing, maybe not. Mmm, little fruit, little fruity. Uh, maybe some like, uh, Maybe some, yeah, maybe, uh, boy, I want to say papaya, maybe, a little papaya smell, uh, a little caramel smell, a little, little uh, um, piney smell, bittersweet caramel, maybe. Very, very good smell. I love it. Okay. Salute. Let's bring it to the mouth. Good taste in lager. Um, that tropical fruit taste, a lot of carbonation goes in first. The fruit comes right off of the front of the palate. Dry finish with a little bit of a, uh, God, I wanna, I wanna say a little bit of um, uh, a bite maybe. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like an IPA, a strong IPA with a lot of IBUs in it. Uh, and it's got that bite at the back end. Um, but very fruity, uh, a little peach maybe going on in there with a little um, uh, apricot and um, um, papaya. I don't really taste caramel. It does smell a little caramely, but I really don't taste that caramel. Yeah, there's that bite in the back a little bit. Hey, all in all, good beer. Um, about an eighth of an inch head left. It went down real quick. A um, little bit of a carbonation still going on, but hey, good beer. Good beer. If you don't know how I rate my beers, I rate them on salutes. Four being good, one being ah uh -uh, on salutes. That's right. This one here. I would probably give this one probably a two and a half salutes. Yeah, two and a half salutes to Fall City Brewing Company in um, Lexington, Kentucky. Couch Coach, that's what you get, two and a half. Hey, not bad at all, not bad at all. Um, everybody's palate's different, everybody's nose is different. That's what I got out of this beer. Um, can I have another? I often ask myself that, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. And I'm going to sip on this one for a little bit. Um, and that's pretty much it, folks. Thank you once again for tuning in to MGUNZ Beer Review. Until next time, remember this. Do what's right when no one's looking. <laughs>